So we got the testimony by the uh, psychologist yesterday that uh, she did a, a multi-hour assessment of Amber Heard, uh, really extensive assessment, uh, and determined that Amber Heard has multiple uh, personality disorders. Those uh, two personality disorders, uh, those are um, borderline personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. Um, I would add narcissism as well, but anyway. Uh, and so, you know, there was, uh, this was a big moment, um, because this was the chance for this, uh, psychologist to really unpack for the jury what the f is wrong with this woman. And I understand that for, for some people, this was controversial because there are, um, there are some individuals who have borderline personality disorder, for instance, who don't want to be associated with Amber Heard, and I understand why. Um, but but let's not go too far and let's not say that we cannot we cannot talk honestly about what is wrong with Amber Heard or about or or can't speak honestly about what a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder means. Um, it is it is a, it is a very problematic it, it's a it's a it's a problematic thing to be diagnosed with to have. It makes people's lives very difficult, not only for the person who has a borderline personality disorder, but for the people who have to deal with them. And, you know, I get messages sometimes, and I'm going to talk about this. I, I want to do a video later tonight, a more extensive video, where I really talk about this diagnosis um, that the psychologist gave Amber Heard and, and unpack this and, and talk about some of the research behind it. But, you know, whenever I talk about uh, personality disorders, particularly borderline personality disorder, I'll get messages sometimes from people who have been diagnosed with BPD or in treatment or working on it, and, and they don't like being associated with Amber Heard, or they don't like being associated with some of the unfortunate truths about BPD. But I would just say that, you know, BPD, it's a, it's a very, very problematic thing to have. I've known several people who have it. It is, it is, uh, despite despite what uh, what people with light cases of BPD would say, it is very difficult to get most people with BPD to acknowledge they have a problem, much less to to really uh, work on it in a in a sustained uh, fundamental way. Uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk more about that. I understand that there are some people, there are always some people who who have light cases who uh, who are able to be treated or realize they have a problem. But, uh, but by and large, BPD is a very difficult, thorny, intransigent uh, uh, affliction. And so we have to be, we have to be serious and, and honest about the amount of damage that, in general, people with BPD, and I'm talk, not talking about everybody, and I'm not talking about those of you um, who, who realized you have a problem and got treatment, okay? I'm talking, though, about, in general, it is a very intransigent thing to have, it is, it is, and it makes life very difficult, not only for the people with BPD, but for the people around them. And we have to just be honest and say, you know, that, that people with BPD tend to cause a lot of misery to others and to themselves, but to others. And we have to be honest about that. You know, if Amber Heard were a psychopath, people would have no problem talking about that. Um, you know, whenever, whenever we have, you know, uh, murderers and stuff who are brought up in court, people seem to have no problem when a, um, when an expert testifies about, you know, psychopathy or something. So, uh, and I understand psychopathy is not the same thing as borderline, but I'm just saying, you know, these are both very unfortunate, um, very regrettable uh, things to have, uh, but we can't shy away from telling the truth about them. And I, I saw someone uh, yesterday uh, commenting on the trial and saying that uh, there, it was a mental health professional, I believe, saying that they're un, uh, uncomfortable with this diagnosis being discussed or thrown around in court or for people hearing about uh, seeing the, this diagnosis as the focus of court yesterday and as a focus of understanding Amber Heard's behavior. Well, I'm sorry, you know, if that's, if that's going to make the stigma worse for, for those who are suffering with BPD or with histrionic personality disorder, um, I believe Amber has narcissism as well. Um, but, uh, and Johnny said that one of their therapists said that at one point that she was narcissistic. But anyway, my point is, you know, just because uh, talking about Amber Heard's diagnosis in an, in an open, honest, direct way will make the stigma of that diagnosis worse for, for some people, I'm sorry, but that's just, it's too bad. Um, we have to, it, it needs to be explained to the jury and to the public why Amber Heard is doing the things that she's doing. 
And so that's why that diagnosis is really helpful is to understanding the clusterfuck of symptoms and issues that people with these personality disorders have. And I have to say too, that it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's just a little bit, I, um, it's, it's a little bit fitting, I should say, and not entirely unexpected to, uh, to get a lot of criticism from people with BPD because I'm sorry, but one of the defining characteristics of BPD is being hypercritical. So, you know, to, I, I would say when people say, oh, don't, you know, I've had some people tell me, don't talk about BPD or don't talk about the Amber Heard diagnosis because it's, it's going to get some people mad at you. Well, if I worried about people being mad at me, I wouldn't have been defending Johnny Depp um, or, or Marilyn Manson or any of the other uh, people that I defend from these Me Too hoaxes, these Me Too hit jobs. If I cared about what people think, I, I wouldn't have been doing this for the past year because this was not always the popular position, defending Johnny Depp. And certainly defending Marilyn Manson, who is also innocent if you look into it. And uh, look at my videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, uh, um, you know, I'm going to continue to be honest. I'm going to continue to tell the truth. And I just have to say that it was very satisfying uh, as someone who has in my life, just like a lot of you have dealt with people who have these really difficult um, and destructive personality disorders. It was, it was very rare that you will get someone with, uh, with the, one of these uh, cluster B disorders who will acknowledge they have a problem. And so to have Amber Heard, to have her be forced to sit there and listen over, over a long period of time as a doctor breaks down, as a psychologist breaks down point by point, what is wrong with Amber Heard? That is something you just don't get very, very often in life is the chance to, to compel someone uh, with one of these disorders to actually sit there and have to hear, to have to acknowledge what's wrong with them. And I know she won't admit it. She won't acknowledge it, but just the process of, of having her, this is what, this is what it's all about. This is why Johnny Depp brought this lawsuit to have this woman, to have finally a public forum where this woman is forced to be brought to some kind of public account. And part of that is having to sit there is that she has to sit there and listen to the truth about who she is and what she's done. And I thought that was a great moment for Depp. And, um, and I thought that it was, it was a really great thing to see. And again, I know there's some people who have these disorders who are acknowledged that, who are working on it, but uh, we need to be able to speak honestly about things and call them what they are. And if I lose viewers over that, I lose viewers, but anyway. All right, well, I'm gonna be unpacking this diagnosis more. I'm gonna be talking about, uh, I'm getting into some um, some research. I'm reading up on some things. I'm talking to a friend of mine, actually, uh, who is a mental, an expert in the mental health field and specializes in borderline personality disorder. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna be doing more stuff on, on, on that and talking more about uh, this, this therapist, um, the psychologist uh, testimony and so forth. But I just wanted to get in this short video about it right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be talking to you a bit later. Go Deb.